Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another episode of Cape Rugby TV. Big thanks of course to our partners on board with us, Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24 Hour Pharmacy and Thorburn Security Solutions. Well there's, uh, as we said last week, in fact for the last few weeks, the Gears of Club Rugby keeps growing. Quite a few friendlies on the cards at the moment and uh, we'll be talking about that during the course of the show. And our focus stays on uh, women's rugby. We go down to the High Performance Center where we catch up with the uh, DHL Western Province um, uh, women's rugby squad. We'll be talking to John Ginokwe and Babal Walacha and a couple of the other players who are busy preparing for the women's rugby interprovincials. And we'll go down to Wraithby where we'll catch up uh, with some of the uh, players, including assistant coach Adrian Herrmann. And of course, as you know, schools rugby is uh, starting to gain momentum and uh, we go down to the uh, High Performance Center where some of the school rugby players are busy in preparation at the moment. This past weekend, there was a friendly match between uh, Gordon's Bay Pioneers and Rocklands. We managed to catch the, some of the highlights behind the scenes. And we, of course, uh, catch up with Western Province Rugby's uh, Faisal Felton, who's going to tell us a little bit more about uh, these uh, friendlies. And, of course, a lot of discussion around the COVID regulations. So make sure that you stay tuned. Don't go away. Remember, of course, during the course of the show, you can win yourself a uh, case of score energy drinks all right a can of score just make sure that you uh, visit our facebook page so there's a new format you have to go to the facebook page and answer a simple question uh, which we are putting on a weekly basis and of course you can win yourself a set of masks courtesy of cape rugby tv uh, at least courtesy of ctc sports well and cape rugby tv they're cape rugby tv masks Right, let's go take a look now at uh, what's happening at the High Performance Center where the DHL Western Province Rugby Women's Squad uh, remains uh, in preparation. Well, this Express is my first time here at HBC. Such a great honor to actually have a great facility um, as, a, as a women's um, rugby player. It's something new to me, and um, it's been a while that I've actually been um, training with the provincial team. So I'm um, actually happy to grab that with both ends too. And um, yeah, a lot of opportunities for me and quite a competition as well, which I like the most about the game. Well, I think Western Province is lucky enough to have the city, Cape Town City, uh, 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 most probably. Um, I'm, tr I'm attracted by the town and also with my rugby as well. Um, I think I'm, my rugby is going to grow more if I'm this side. And also I know there's younger people back at home and that actually look up to me. And um, opportunity wise now, it, it, it is much more better here for me. And um, yeah, just being close to everything instead of um, having to travel more in order for me to be able to gym, in order for me to have a training field and everything. So it was more personal thing than than choosing border over rugby. Ah, look, it's like I've been working with the girls for a very long time now. Luckily, they most of them have been in the in the SA setup, so I definitely have worked with them. Some of them have been in the under twenties up until now. So it's not like I'm in a totally different team. So it's almost like family from another family is family as well because it's like a thirty. So it's just like a home away from home as well. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. We've been training for a very long time. It's also a very long camp that we had. Um, very excited to, to actually play in two weeks. Actually now play to win and not to, to get better or anything. Very excited to actually jump again into that four lines and, and do what I love and actually do the best for the new province as well against our rivals. And we know it's not going to be a very easy game, but it will be worth um, everything to fight for. Listen, the experience that uh, actually looking at after us is making everything very much difficult for them because they're making everyone look so good so much that they cannot be able to actually choose the best one for the team. So as much as you can see, there's a lot of centers and I'm sure they're breaking their heads into a house here, um, being able to, 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 to choose the best centers. That is also um, a, 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 a hand too from them because they're the one that actually have um, worked us up to the standard as well. So they're doing a great job as well. I 
was eindelijk baie moeilik om terug te kom na een jaar van niks rugby speel. Ik baie van ons het basically, om eerlijk te wees, ons het nie geoefen nie. So dit was baie moeilik vir ons om terug te kom en terug te val en soma in een VP setup te kom. Baie van ons meisies is niet op die scene, hulle kom van juniors af. So vir baie van ons meisies is was het een groot aanpassing, maar as ons vijfde week en ons is allemaal basis op een level waar ons wil wees. Het is baie makkelijker en een mens begin het geniet, soos in die begin gaan het zwaar gaan, maar elke week het het vir ons makkelijker, makkelijker en beter geraak, so ja. Motivation van my kant af is, ek my eie motivator. Want as op die einde van die dag gaat het oor my, wat ek hier uit wil baat verstaan. Het gaan nie oor op plan, niks plan nie. Ja, ek moet uitkijk vir my span, maar op die einde van die dag, as ek hier my self gaan druk, jy gaan nou my team uit gaan, my nie druk, jy so alles hang van jou self af. Ek moet my nie richte my en sit op die verjaard gaan. Ek moet my na eet het uit gaan, ek wil leer, ek wil iets bereik verstaan. So op die einde van die dag is, het gaan oor jou self, het sal my jou self druk. Eindelijk is het baie, is meer exciting van ons weet nie wat die jaar op ons wacht hier met een jaar wat uitgesit was. As het vir ons allemaal, het gaan een groot aanpassing wees, maar ek dink het gaat lekker wees, een lekker vibe onder die meisies. So ek dink ja, het gaan een baie goeie jaar wees. Die nieuwe talent wat opgekom het, so het gaat baie moeilijk wees vir ons ou meisies. As het gaan een groot step af wees, maar ons gaan vallen gauwe het gee. Yeah, no, to be honest, is, I was also quite surprised, especially um, the first week. Uh, you can see like the girls, like they were so happy to be back on the field. They were so happy to, to see each other, like the friends, because remember, like they were, they didn't see the friends for, for a year. It was, it was no rabbi, like without a year. And then they didn't mind if like they would be rabbi or not. As soon as we told them, listen, girls, we need to come, you, you need to come down to, to, to attend the, the, the practice. They didn't ask if like they would be happy or not. They just come down and then they can see like they were happy, they enjoy it. Then later on, one or two, they asked they would be happy. They, you know, like they will show you have to ask those kind of questions, especially like, like in, this, in this situation we are now. But now you can see like the vibe, the energy is still there. Even if like some of them, they're not sure if like they will be rabbi, but we keep on telling them they will be rabbi this year, they will play this year. Yeah, no, it did. Yeah. It, it did a lot yeah, because, for example, if like we didn't have those kind of experience we have, like this coaching stuff, uh, them show like maybe we will be still far away, but as we're not up to there, but at least we're getting there. You can see like the the difference now to come back in that first two weeks now, and you can see the girls now are pushing hard. The fitness now is start to pick up slowly, slowly, slowly. But we didn't, we're not up to there, but we're getting there slowly. Yes, of course, uh, that is our our strength here at, uh, at Western Province Rugby. If like you see like the previous years. We always have that, we want to make sure we always have that mix with those girls like the players, probably like four, four to five years. With those youngsters, they come from under 18, we mix together. You can see like every year you will see like the juniors coming in here with, with our setup and becoming like the star. That's our, our strong point for, for us. We need to make sure we don't throw away those youngsters. We need to make sure we keep them in, in the system, even if like they not play this year but we make sure we invite them, we train them, we prepare them for next year so that whenever they get the chance next year, they're ready. Yeah, no, of course, indeed, yeah, cheers. I was quite happy like to, to be back on the field as well as a coaching. And besides those girls, like the girls as well, like, as like I said from the first time like that, they were so happy like to come back to be in, to be between these four lines. As you say, like they will play some games, they will play some 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 trials. Some of them they can't wait. 
to be exactly to play the game, not only to just do the running and gym and, and passing. They want to play. Now they can't wait for that opportunity to so, say, okay, listen, listen, girls, next week you play the game. They can't wait for that. Yeah. Welcome back, folks. There we go. Of course, uh, great to see the players uh, more and more focused every week. It's, it's really great to see that our women's squad is uh, getting ready for their first match um, against Bulan. Folks, we're taking an ad break. When we come back from the break, we're going to be going to Raithby uh, to find out what's happening on their side. We'll be catching up with uh, um, uh, coach Adrian Harriman as well as some of the players on the side of the field. <laughs> 